A Spokane family has received the news no parents can prepare for. Their five-year-old girl has terminal cancer and there's nothing else doctors can do. That child has been getting treatment in Texas and now she wants to spend her final days surrounded by family. Our sister station Spokane shows us how the community and one generous pilot in Idaho is making that happen. Rick Clark and the Spokane Corn team have helped a lot of people and businesses over the years, but the phone call he got today truly took his breath away. People were like, Rick, I don't think we're going to pull this off. And then other people were like, of course, if anybody's going to do it, Spokane will do it. That call came from staff at the American Childhood Cancer Organization of the Inland Northwest. It was about a five-year-old girl they've helped since she was diagnosed with cancer a year and a half ago. She's undergone treatment in Spokane and Seattle. Today, doctors in Houston said there was nothing else they could do. They've taken her off the chemo, so she has a very short window of time where she's going to feel good. That little girl now wants to come home and spend her final days in a house instead of a hospital. Riding her dad's pickup and have snacks. <laughs> you know, she wants to see her siblings. She wants to eat pizza. So when I heard that, I lost it. This afternoon, Rick made an urgent post to the 34,000 members of Spokane Quarantine asking if anyone had a plane. Within 70 minutes, we had multiple pilots with multiple personal planes reach out and say, where do you need me? I'm ready to go. One of those pilots is Dennis Combs. He owns a car dealership in Boise and his own jet. No need to raise any money for fuel, Combs said. He's done 40 missions like this before. Very soon the cancer will take over and it'll hit her hard. And um, so she's got this tiny window that she can get home in. The five-year-old will be ready to fly back to Spokane on Friday to see her siblings, ride in her dad's truck, and of course, eat some pizza. We're just trying to get her home because if, if she's going to go to heaven, we want her to be surrounded by her family.